Hi, today I want to share with you how to make fast and easy half square triangles using my speedy solutions techniques. I'm going to link below in the description box the video that I have done out on YouTube for my speedy solutions to cut and organize your scrap stash. If you haven't had an opportunity to watch that, make sure you do that and I'll have the link below for you. My name is Lori Dickman. Welcome to my channel Quilting with Lori. I hope that you like what you're seeing and that you'll like and subscribe to my channel so that you'll get additional videos as I put them out for you. But now today, let's get started. Okay, let me share with you how I make, how I create my half square triangles um, using my scrap stash, my Speedy Solutions scrap stash, and you can learn all about the techniques involved in that as well as patterns from my two books. I'll have these linked out on my, uh, to my website down in the description box. But for half square triangles, using your scrap stash, you're simply going to pull two squares that are larger than the half square triangle units that you're going to be creating. So if you need, um, let's say, a five inch half square triangle, you'd pull six inch squares, a light and a dark. Um, usually it's a, a light, and a medium, or a light and a dark to be able to create a half square triangle, and this is what they'll end up looking like. So you're simply pulling two squares. Let me show you how this is done. Okay, on this mat here, you'll see I have very large squares. These are actually 11 inch squares that I've pulled, but there's a blue one and a white one. And I've simply put the light on top of the dark and matched up the corners. And then I have taken my ruler and I have drawn a diagonal line from one corner to the opposite corner. Because these particular squares are so large, I have put a pin in them so that I can get them from the tabletop to the sewing machine without them moving. Um, and what we're going to do then is sew a scant quarter of an inch on each side of that drawn line. Let me show you what I've done here. So I have sewn that here. There is a scant quarter inch that I've drawn on each, excuse me, that I've sewn on each side of the drawn line. And then you cut on the drawn line, and you'll see that you end up with two half square triangle units. You're going to press to the dark, and then you're going to square up each of these units to the size that, size that you need. In this case, it's going to be squared up to 10 and a half inches. So let me show you how to put together your half square triangle using, in this case, I have two five inch squares, a purple and a pink. I simply take all of my uh, squares and I put them right sides together and I put them together in pairs. And I do that in assembly line fashion. So all of my half square triangle squares are put together in pairs. Then I take a ruler and a, a marker or a pen and I draw a diagonal line from one corner to the other on all of those pairs. Once I've done that, then I take each of the pairs to my sewing machine and again in assembly line fashion, I am going to sew a scant quarter inch on each side of that drawn line as you see here. And let me get you a closer view of that. Then I um, use my ruler and my rotary cutter and I cut on that drawn line so that we have two, basically two sets of half square triangles. And you see that I have already pressed them. So every step is done in assembly line fashion. And then I take it to the, to the ironing board and press them open, press toward the dark. Then the most important step at this point is to square up each of these to the size that your pattern is calling for. If it wants a four and a half inch half square triangle, then you need to square it up to that. So let's go over here. And I happen to have a four and a half inch Omni grid ruler that I'm going to use to square this up. I am placing that um, diagonal line, the 45 degree line, on the seam allowance of the half square triangle. I'm going to make sure that that's all lined up properly, and then I'm going to trim away the excess. There isn't much in regard to excess, however, it's very important that that be removed or it will definitely affect the size and uh, piecing together of your quilt. I missed a thread there. There we go. 
So see, there isn't much that has to be trimmed away, but it's really important that each and every half square triangle is trimmed so that you remove all of this excess that must be removed. And then your half square triangles are ready to go in any project. So let's say you don't have a four and a half inch ruler to square up this particular square to four and a half inches. Let's say you have a larger ruler than uh, what you're squaring up your half square triangle to. You can still use it. It doesn't matter if it's a six, six and a half, nine and a half, twelve and a half. You can still use this that large ruler to square up um, anything smaller than that. So we're going to use our six and a half inch ruler. This is an OmniGrid ruler, and we're going to square up this uh, uh, half square triangle to four and a half inches. We're going to make sure that it's squared up on all sides. So I, again, what I'm going to do is find that um, diagonal line, the 45 degree line, and it is going to be lined up right on that seam allowance there. That's where that needs to, li to be lined up. And then I'm gonna bring this down a little bit and I'm simply going to, in this case, basically cut away on this side and the top. There isn't much that has to be cut away. You'll see the four and a half inch line lines up beautifully on this outer edge over here that we'll have to trim away that little corner there. But I'm simply going to have to trim away a little bit from this side and a tiny bit from the top. And my diagonal line is lined up perfectly. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to flip it around. Then you take your ruler again. Let's move away this excess. Again, lay it so that the diagonal line is right here, and your four and a half inch lines should come from this corner up here, like that. And you can see that the four and a half inch line lines up perfectly there and here. And what we have to remove is just this little corner here. So let's get that removed. And we have a four and a half inch square uh, that has been squared up using a larger ruler. So it doesn't matter if you don't have a four and a half inch um, ruler to do your squaring up, if that's the size half square triangle your pattern calls for, you can still use larger rulers and accomplish the same thing. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and learning how to make speedy half square triangle units. I'll have in the description box below links for uh, the books so that you can learn more about my speedy solutions uh, techniques to cut and organize your scrap stash, the additional pattern book. I'll have links to the OmniGrid rulers that I have on my website. You'll have everything there that you can check it out and, and look it over and see what you might be interested in. If you've enjoyed what you've learned today, I hope that you'll like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Happy quilting.